friends. This is Emily at Hudson Highlands Nature Museum in Formon, Hudson, New York. And today I thought we would talk about molting because um, Edgar R. Crow is in the process of molting right now. Um, and I'm just gonna show you what that looks like. So birds will typically molt once a year. So there are some birds who, you know, like goldfinches, if they're changing color, they might molt twice a year so that they can get that different, um, those different colored feathers. And when a feather is growing, um, it has a blood supply to it. And then once it's fully grown, that blood supply goes away, um, which is why feathers are hollow, right? And so that's why, you know, they used to be able to fill them with ink and use them as quills. Um, so while they're growing, they have that, that vein, that blood supply to them. And I mean, Edgar is looking very bald right now. Um, and that's totally common for him about this time of year. Uh, and I'm just going to show you, so the ones on his head are hard to see because they're so tiny. They're such small feathers, but you can see all these little white things, every little white shaft that you see is a new feather sort of wrapped up inside there like an umbrella when it's closed. And so they're growing out of his skin and then eventually this, this little white shaft around the outside, um, this little sheath kind of thing is going to break away. And that's what all of this like dandruff is. So this is pieces of those sheaths as they're coming off of his new feathers. Um, and you can see he's got quite a bit of, um, kind of looks like dandruff, I guess, but it's, you know, it's not skin, it's that, that protective sheath of the feathers. And so he's got new feathers coming in right here on his nose. He's got new feathers, look at that, coming in on his chin. All those are new feathers. He's got lots of new feathers coming in on his throat. Oh, he doesn't want me to show you his throat. That's okay. Um, but he just molted in all new feathers in his ears. And so those are nice and fluffy and ready for hearing. Okay, all those. So he's got a couple more to go. Um, so he's looking a little ratty and rough right now. Um, but in a couple of weeks, I mean, he's gonna look like a brand new bird because he's gonna molt all those feathers, not just the ones on his head, um, but you know, his wings will have brand new feathers. His tail um, actually looks like his tail is done molting in. And it looks like maybe the primary feathers on his wings are done too. Um, and so his head looks like maybe it's the last, the last piece of that. Ooh, we're itchy, see that? So that makes him extra itchy, which also makes him, what's nice, extra lovey because he, he needs help grooming those feathers on his, um, on his head. And let me see, yeah, see how they just like, the old ones just fall out. Um, and sometimes if I, if I can find one, eh, I guess I can't find one. Sometimes they'll just pull right away if they're loose. So it doesn't hurt them. Um, it, you know, it's just like our hair falling out whenever we take a shower, um, but their skin does get pretty sensitive um, once they're growing those new feathers in. So um, if you have any questions about Edgar or about molting or anything else that uh, we've got here at the Nature Museum, feel free to drop comments or questions below and we'll do our best to answer them. Thanks. Bye, Edgar.